Direct Sales Training with Rich Norton. Very happy to be with you. Very excited to share some wonderful sales success secrets with you. And we did that on our previous episode. We talked about getting serious about what you're doing in sales. Are you really serious? Are you ready to make it happen? And we also talked about identifying some of your limited skills that you may have and simply just work on them. Again, the only way to get good at something is you got to get out there, you got to make it happen, you got to practice, you got to work at it, and then you got to find the people that are in life where you want to be and simply do what they do. You know, find the successful people, learn from them, emulate them, model after them, and again, make sure you do that with integrity. And speaking of that, let's continue with this with our sales secrets of success, however you want to call it. Number three, choose your friends carefully. Very important. I hope you're writing this down. I want you to take inventory of the five people that you hang around with most in life. And I want you to take a look at them, and I don't want you to say, hey, get rid of all your friends. You know, I'm not saying that at all. But we have to be careful about who we're spending the majority of our lives with. People can bring you down, they really can. And you have to look at them and you gotta say, are these people going in life where I want to be going? Are these people bringing me down or are they bringing me up? And that goes true when it comes to direct selling. And I've talked about this before, a lot of times what ends up happening is when we're going through a difficult time, we end up finding the most negative people so we can spew off some negativity and then we can have a pity party or we can have an excuse party and we can blame everybody else in life for us not becoming successful. And you have to understand that not everything's perfect, but if you work hard with the right attitude, you're going to have great success. So I want you to take inventory of who are your friends, who are you hanging out with, and ask these questions. Are they bringing me down or are they lifting me up? How about the people that you're surrounding yourself in the field of selling? You know, who are you talking with daily? Are you reaching out to the top people or are you reaching down to the people that aren't really doing much of anything? When you call them up, they're still sleeping, they're still at home, they're not working, they got all the excuses in the world. Is that where you're getting your advice and your counsel from? If that is, it's time to not do that anymore. Find the people that are having the success and then do what they are doing. If you do that, you will have much more opportunities and way more chances to have great success. So choose your friends carefully, write that down. Also, think long term. If you want to have success, and I've learned this as I've gotten older, it's very important to take good care of yourself. We only have one body, one earthly body while we're here on this earth. And I have found that there are things that I used to do that I really can't do and shouldn't be doing anymore. Right? And for those of you that are still living the life of a 20 year old or doing all those things and, you're, and your body's just not feeling good or you're not feeling it, well, that's important that you really take good care of your earthly body because you wanna feel good. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you want to look in the mirror and you want to say, man, I feel great, man. I feel fantastic. I feel better than I've ever felt. And what is that going to mean for you? That's going to mean some lifestyle changes. And this is something where you need to take inventory as well. Um, what is your lifestyle? I mean, are you, and I'm not knocking anybody or putting anybody down, but these are things that you need to probably work on. Are you drinking too much? Are you smoking cigarettes? Are you, uh, again, not, I'm not judging anybody, but these are things you need to take a look at in life. Are you, what are you eating? You know, you are what you eat. That's a big thing. Uh, I've learned that I love all different types of food, but as I've gotten older, there's certain things that I really can't eat as much as I used to 
love to eat. You know, I used to get a big giant steak and a big lobster, love that. You know, it's like I can't eat as much as that anymore. I'll eat a small steak and maybe a little bit of lobster tail, but I want to make sure that I, what I put into my body is going to make me energized, I'm going to feel good, I'm going to be well taken care of. If my body's in good shape, my mind is going to be in good shape also. So keep that in mind. Think long term. You should be thinking, you know, I, I want to live till I'm 100, man. I, I feel that way. I want to be super successful. You know, another thing we talk about is retiring. People say, you're at, a, at an age now, when are you going to retire? It's like, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm just beginning. And it's not just about making just money, money, money. I love giving money away, but I love the challenge of what I do, and I love having the other representatives having success. I love teaching people. I love motivating people. I love inspiring people. Is there, if there's anything that I can do to help other people have success, that's what I'm here for, and that's what I want, I want to make sure that I'm doing for everybody. So take good care of yourself. Think long term. Whatever age that you're at, you know, start thinking about where you want to be when you're 30. What type of shape you want to be when you're 40, 50, 60, 65, 7, whatever age is, you know, 80, 85. You know, there's some people that I'll run into and they're younger than me and I'm like, man, they look pretty rough, man. You know, <laughs> I look way better than them <laughs> and I know that and I want to make sure that I'm looking good, feeling good, taking good care of myself. So that's important. Choose your friends carefully, think long term take good care of yourself, and visualize having success. Very important, whatever your goals are, and that's important that you have goals, visualize having a successful week. Like for example, if you say, this week I'm gonna have a great week of selling. I'm gonna make it happen, I'm gonna map out my plan, I've got all my momentum, I've got exactly what I need to do, everything's lined up, and I'm gonna go out there and make it happen. I'm gonna go out and get, let's just say a number, six sales this week and whatever you're selling. And then you just go for it, but you visualize what it's going to be like to have that success. Really important, visualize having success. You might say, I'm gonna have an amazing month, this month is going to be my best month ever. At the end of this month, I'm going to celebrate because I'm going to have this amount of business. And you look at that big picture, you visualize that. You might say, I'm going to have a brand new vehicle. That's the type of vehicle that I'm going to have. This is when I'm going to have it, and this is my goal. Visualize it. Take a picture of it. Take it for a test drive. Go out and make that decision that that's going to happen. I'm going to have a new home, whatever it might be, and I'm going to have it by this time, and I'm visualizing myself having that happen. So real important when it comes to selling, when you're meeting customers, when you're meeting merchants, when you're meeting business owners, you're visualizing helping them out, and you're visualizing having success in your industry, whatever you are selling. Another thing is practice positive self-talk, and that goes along with it. This is a great secret of success. Many people put themselves down, and it's like, man, I, I'm just, you know, I don't think I have what it takes, and you know, maybe it's not for me, and maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm not ready to make it happen, and they talk themselves right out of success. And you want to do the exact opposite when it comes to that. You should be doing this all the time. I'm going to have a great day. I am meant for greatness. I was created awesome. I am created to have an awesome day today. Today is going to be a great week. Today is my day. I can't wait to go out there and make it happen. So you should constantly be doing that, practicing positive self-talk. Far too many people talk down. They talk themselves down and they talk negative. None more of that, no more stinking thinking, no more hardening of the attitude, no more excuse-itis, nothing but positive about you. Repeat after me, I am designed for greatness. I am designed for success and I'm gonna go out and make it happen. And that's my final thing is take action.
Don't be all talk and no action. You've got an amazing opportunity. Direct selling, any type of sell, sales, but direct selling is as big as you want it to be. You can be a multi-millionaire, you can, whatever your goals are, this is as huge as whatever you want it to be. But nothing is going to happen until you go out and make it happen. You can have all the training in the world, you can watch all these videos, you can have all the talks, you can have the right attitude, you can do everything to be successful, but the most important thing that you have to do is you have to take consistent action. And that means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you have to do whatever it takes in order to succeed. So take action, go out and make it happen, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, it's Rich Norton here with the super crew of Payrock. Now, when we talk about the super crew, we are talking about, and I'm bragging a little bit, the number one team with Payrock. And Payrock is huge. They do billions of dollars in transactions all throughout the world, and we just so happen to be the number one team, and we have representatives all around the country having great success with us. And many of you have reached out after watching our show's direct sales training. You like what we're teaching, it's helpful for you. I know some of you have talked about maybe transitioning into what we're doing, or maybe you've never been in sales and you wanna get into sales. We have plenty of opportunities, because people ask me that question. Yes, we do. Wherever you are at, we have opportunities. So how do we do this? How do we, how do we get someone to become successful with us? Reach out to me. We will do an interview with you. We can do an application with you. But more important, we want to find out who you are, what your background is, where you're going from here on in, what your goals are, what your desires are. And if you're a good fit, we will get you on board where we will teach you how to make six-figure income, how to build the residual income, and this is as big as you want it to be. I'm talking about making money while you sleep. It's all up to you. It's an incredible opportunity. I get the privilege and the blessing to be able to see representatives all around the country having their dreams come true. You can have your dreams come true, no secret formula. You gotta find the right vehicle, which we have. You gotta find the training, which we have. You gotta find the support, which we have. And then just simply go for it. So if I'm describing you, reach out to me. You'll see the numbers below. You'll see the email. You'll see my phone number. I keep busy. If I don't answer, text me, leave me a message. I look forward to sharing this amazing opportunity with you.